Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Rasaji, and this is Rasaji Speaks. You know, today's Thursday, the 5th, and we're over that hump and on the downhill slalom to Shangri-La, which comes tomorrow. And if you've never been on our private training, it's less than 50 cents a day. And you get an hour and a half to two hours every Friday from one to two thirty, three o'clock. And we talk about all kinds of stuff. We do a couple of exercises, breathing, meditation. And then we get down to the skinny and start talking about the truth. We'd love to have you. Come on and check us out. Less than 50 cents a day. I mean, what could you buy for 50 cents a day, right? You can buy the most incredible training you've ever experienced for less than 50 cents a day. Today's title is God's Law, Living, Living the Principles of the Divine. God's Law. Well, God's will, God's way, the Alpha, the Omega, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's very interesting when you think about it, right? So Enoch, at 365 years old in the physical, was called to heaven because he was said to have been a priest of righteousness, which in the Lama theory basically means the right use of God's law. Lord knows we have been seeing the wrong use out here in the world for quite a while. From Washington, D.C., to London, to Paris, to Italy. I mean, everywhere you look, it's examples of the wrong thing to do. When is there going to be an example of the right thing to do? By the time we're probably getting close to figuring that out, we're challenging our mortality. See, I believe that God will keep you here if you're serving him and wanting him to, to learn his will and his way. I believe that is at the root of longevity. You've come in a commitment to serve him in a big way. I think he wants to keep you around longer than most. What do you think about that? Does that make sense to you? Makes sense to Lama G. When I can stay in my body long enough to get certain things done, I'm very aware that the energy is profound. You know, fusion that spirit, mind, and body together, that true chondo, makes us one. Spirit, mind, and body are but one. Spirit, mind, and body are but one. That's the ancient meaning, the true chanda. How about you? Are you pursuing your chanda? Are you wanting to become one with the spirit, one with the mind, one with the body? Are you pursuing the Tao, the way, or the Dharma, the path? Are you willing to hang out long enough to learn God's will and God's way? You know, Boganathar, our first Lama G, put himself way before almost anything and went after his yoga with passion for 25, 30 years became an astute master, somewhere between about 75 plus, he goes to China and he wants to take his yoga disciplines, his breathing energy, his stretching, his conditioning, his energy yoga, his mantra, Kundalini yoga. He wanted to take it out into nature and see what would the influence of nature be 
to his yoga. Changed everything. It changed asanas from being stationary pose to moving like the elements of nature. A spring coming down a mountain into a pool. Wind blowing through trees and branches that were 500 to 1,000 years old. You see, we were almost 1,500 years past Noah's flood when, ba when Boganathar showed up to China. And then after spending a good five decades in nature, a general came seeking him out. And that general, he walked up to him and he says, Sad Hugh, right? Neho Math, good morning, how are you? And he said, Peace, Shante, and Oigoidni, which means, I love you because of who and what you are. And he knew that Bhogunathar is stinking looking hermit that he was, beard down to his waist, hair almost to his feet, hadn't touched soap in decades. He knew that he was holy. He could feel his Shakti pot, his energy transform. He was said to, at night, glow like a, like a love bug, like a lightning bug, Boganathar, as sun set in, as he sat there one night on the beach and watched him glow. They built a fire on the beach together, the general and Boganathar. And as he built the fire, Boganathar got more brighter. And the general was like, oh my God, this is incredible. So he would feed the fire even more and Boganathar would be like a burning coal. And he realized this guy was magical. This guy was, if I took this guy to Emperor Chen, the same power that he possessed, there's a good chance he could do the Dao Ji Gong to my Emperor Chin and show him through Oigoi eternal love. It just made it. He did that. And Chin lived 25 to 30 years longer than the acupuncture physicians said he could, the herbal masters said he could, and they were floored. They, what is this new yoga, this gentle yoga, this thing called Tai Chi Gong? Give power to peace was the reign across creation. Give power to peace. Wow, amazing Bhaganatha, yes. Baraka Bishai, may the blessings be to you and to your glorious family. Don't forget training. Tomorrow, it's not too late to sign up. One o'clock Eastern, right? The three o'clock Eastern, don't be late. Mama G welcomes you there. God bless.